It's like about directly impacting someone today and making someone smile. That's the idea. I'm Josh Coombs. I'm founder of a movement called Hashtag Do Something For Nothing. I'm a hairdresser and recently I've been going out on the streets to cut hair for those who are homeless. My name's Jade Statt, I'm a veterinary surgeon and I'm one of the directors of Street Vet Limited, which is a service where vets and veterinary nurses go out on the street and offer their services to help homeless. So the last time you got your haircut was two years ago. Do Something For Nothing was born in 2015. This was when I started going out on the street with my scissors to cut hair for people who need it. I didn't want it to just be about me and cutting hair, so I came up with a hashtag, and I always wanted other people to get involved. It was about direct impact, and it's incredible to see the way this has taken off and um, how other people like Jade have now got involved. Well, I just felt really frustrated because I met a dog one night. That was kind of what started it. it had really bad skin and I went up and chatted. I always chat to the, the homeless and their dogs and he said that it really needed treatment but he didn't know how to get the treatment and I was just like, I can help you. So we're gonna try and head out today and have a look down towards Shoreditch and see what we can see and it's quite spontaneous really, like you, you never know who you're gonna really meet. Really unpredictable. Yeah. We're doing this thing mate, we've got a project called Do Something For Nothing. A lot of the dogs maybe have not seen a vet in quite a long time, either because they're not aware of where to go or just it's quite difficult for them to access it. So yeah, I'll do a general health check, I'll cut their nails, clean their ears, give them worming, flea treatment. If they've got a specific problem, I do have some antibiotics pain relief with me as well. That's it? Yeah, Now she's created her own like revolution in the, the vet world, you know. I mean, there's so many vets now in the UK who are contacting her to say, hey, how can I get hold of this and, and do something with it myself? The list of why somebody's homeless is as long as your arm. You do think about your life and someone else's and you do kind of cross them together sometimes and you think, well, yeah, we all make mistakes, you know? Like, I've made mistakes in my life. Like, there's things I've done that I'm not that proud of, but I've had someone to rely on me and to fall back on. Yeah. Isolation is, is huge with this. For me, I really believe in telling people about it. I really believe in the stories of the people because you never know who you're going to inspire because out of a hundred people who like a photo or a thousand people who see a video you don't know which one of those is going to go actually i feel like this is for me too and i feel like maybe i can do something in my community and that's what it's about and it's great to keep in touch with people and give someone a first or second third haircut and i've done that in london a lot with different people do you think it needs a bit of a shake up the way people see homelessness yeah, yeah. I don't think people should be enabling people to use drugs by giving them 20 quid at cash points just because they can. Because they can take that 20 quid, go and inject it and overdose. If you want to do something with an homeless person on the street, give them an act of kindness. And I hear that a lot, mate. I hear actually just, just stop and talk to someone, right? Just stop and just see how someone's yeah. doing try and build some community, some friendship. I think that's really, really important, isn't it, mate? Yeah, check. What, what it's like to kind of be right in the midst of drugs and addiction. Well, the addictive part of your mind is telling you that you ain't worth it. So there's a constant voice always telling you you're not good enough. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, you don't have to solve every one of their problems. You can just say hello and smile and recognize that they're, whatever situation they're in, they are a person. So do you think people on the street have potential that they're, they're, is, all, they're, all, they're all great because in the making. Do you think people on the street have more potential than people give them credit for? Yes. Oh um, yes. <laughs> there we go mate. Cheeky look at that. It's nice huh? Yeah. Faded up the sides, into yeah. the top. Yeah, that's how, that's how I like it. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Nice one mate. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's really about connecting with people. It's about what you get in return. Like, I'm the happiest I've been doing this, and it's okay to recognise that. And I believe like you'd probably say the same. It's about yeah. what fulfills you, you know. And, um... Yeah, definitely the most fulfilling part of my career to date is starting doing what I'm doing now with Street Vet. <laughs>